Hi guys, here is Henry again. Uh, on my channel you can find uh, videos about the Fukushima nuclear crisis. Because uh, I'm uh, living 100 kilometers north in beautiful city Sendai, uh, and uh, the nuclear crisis affecting our lives here in uh, Sendai. So, uh, if you went through my videos, you can see one of my first video name is Our Ignorance. And uh, this was very clear point for me that uh, actually I think we all, as a human race, are responsible for what is happening right now in uh, Fukushima and uh, any other accidents in uh, um, at the nuclear plants. So, why I uh, do this video today is because I saw on the Mainichi Daily News, which is a Japanese uh, news in English for uh, foreigners, uh, I saw a wonderful uh, article about one boy from uh, primary school. He wrote a letter to the Mainichi Daily News because he felt, uh, the boy felt uh, not right that uh, the news is talking about TEPCO is only responsible for the disaster. But the boy's father is a worker at the TEPCO. And uh, I really sometimes respect the judgments of kids because they are so pure. And uh, they see things much more, uh, much more straight than the than uh, us people who were already grown up so listen uh, what he wrote so it may be tipco that made the nuclear power plant but it is the people of japan not the world who caused the plants to be built the reason we had to make more nuclear plants is because Japanese people wasted energy running supermarkets and playing video games until late at night. Another reason that nuclear plants had to be built was to stop global warming. It is people all around the world who have caused the global warming to advance. Thinking that way Everyone, including TEPCO, made the plans, and everyone is ignoring their share of responsibility. Well, I want to remind you, this is a sixth grader uh, from the primary school. He wrote this uh, letter. There are some responses on it. Also, I would like you to read some responses, uh, especially from children. Also, sixth grader uh, is writing. I identified most with uh, this uh, boy's opinion. The reason is that my mother works at the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, METI. With regards to the nuclear power plant uh, disaster, not only TEPCO, but METI has also been criticized. My mother strongly feels like she was a perpetrator of the crisis and seems to be very sorry. It is true that government and TEPCO shoulder a lot of responsibility for the disaster, but I think it is also responsibility of all Japanese, no, all the people around the world, who use lots of electricity in their lives every day. And uh, the last one, my father is also an employee of TEPCO. Whenever he goes to the power plant, I get very worried. It is true that TEPCO has a responsibility for the disaster, but I am very bothered by people trying to push all of the blame on TEPCO. I think the ones who have to take blame are those in the government. 
It is because the government and Japanese people have sought convenience that nuclear power plants were needed. So uh, these are the, you know, just minds of kids, uh, all sixth graders actually. I'm not so sure how old is a sixth grader in Japan, but I guess it may be around 11, 12 years. Uh, the, the kids can be 11, 12 years old. So, uh, mm, this is what I said in my first video, that I think we all should take the responsibility for uh, building up since 1950s the nuclear, nuclear power plants and not being absolutely worrying about this. Uh, Germany and Italy, these countries uh, decided in referendum that uh, they are done with the nuclear energy until a certain point if they... Uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, there is year 2032 and I think 2020 when they want to stop the nuclear uh, energy and they want to produce the green energy. Anyways, guys, uh, the clear message from kids is it is us, all of us, who are taking the convenience of the electricity. Uh, in Japan there are many convenience stores which are open 24 hours, many. Uh, there are uh, the play, the game centers which are open. There are many, many other places which are using enormous uh, amount of energy. As I went last time to the shop, uh, which is uh, for the electricity, uh, you know, to selling the electric uh, devices. Nothing changed. The TVs, all the TVs uh, are on, you know, the, just to promote, you know, how beautiful the screen is, you know, the competition to sell the TVs. Uh, I think simply, you know, they could just switch on the TVs when uh, the customer comes and I uh, have an uh, interest about a particular TV. And a uh, lot of lights up around. No, almost nothing changed. We are after the disaster. And uh, there are some places which are trying to, to, to promote, you know, uh, saving the energy. But there are also places which absolutely don't care about this and uh, the last point I want to make uh, that really we didn't get any education how dangerous can the nuclear energy be we were just told that nuclear power plants are much more ecology efficient than than the other kind of energies uh, which is uh, not right to so guys thank you for watching and uh, my message is clear we are still ignoring the fact that all of us are actually responsible for the nuclear crisis and uh, you know when uh, the companies are building the nuclear power plants around your places, uh, you will get a huge promise, you know, that uh, they will suppo support the culture, they will, they will build, uh, you know, cultural centrums, they, they will do, they will try to do many things for the cities which are close to, which will be close to the power plants. But uh, look at what happened right now. They made help the Fukushima nuclear Daiichi power plant probably helped, you know, to develop some places around. But in one accident, it all also completely destroyed the the environment and people's life all around. I personally know people who are living 200 kilometers off. The Fukushima and they had to stop the business, they have to move out of the place, they cannot continue anymore the business. It's tourism, 
and food business. And this can happen in your country, guys. Okay, we shouldn't ignore this fact. There are referendums and ways how to do it. Italia, Germany, bravo. Ciao.